TIPCO Cloud Integration has multiple capabilities tailored to different use cases and user personas. This video is focused on the develop capability, which is based on open source project Flogo. This capability allows users to build APIs and event-driven apps through a visual flow editor. Let's get started. First, in your apps view, click on Create to create a new Flogo app. This will create a new empty app. Give your Flogo app a name. Now we can start developing by clicking on Create. Here you can add your first empty flow to which you'll add activities to create the business logic of the app. Then you have the option to start developing your app by setting the flow inputs and outputs or by adding a trigger. Triggers are used to process events and activate the flow it is attached to. Let's create a Hello World app that receives an HTTP message. We will configure this trigger to get the name using this path, with name as the path parameter. Now that your trigger has been added, let's add some flow inputs and outputs. We want our app to say hello to the name you'll enter. So we add name as a flow input. For the app to return this greeting to you, let's define a flow output that we will call greeting. Now go back to the trigger to map those flow inputs and outputs. Go to Map to Flow Inputs to map the path parameter name to our flow input name. Then go to Map to Flow Outputs to define the HTTP message that should be returned. Manually enter 200 as a success code then map message to our flow output greeting. Don't forget to save before you close this window. Now we are ready to add activities to our flow. An activity executes an action as part of the business logic of your app. We want our flow to return a greeting and say hello to us. So let's add a return activity. We need to map what this activity is returning, which is the greeting to say hello, plus the name the user types. For that, we will use one of the many functions available in Flogo. Let's use the concat function to combine hello and the name we have defined as a flow input. Let's also add a log activity just before our return activity to print the name that has been entered in the logs. Here you can configure the settings of the log activity. And in the input, we will map what we want this activity to print. Let's use the concat function again to print input. and the name that has been entered. As you can see, we have a warning here. Before you deploy the app, or any time during the development of your app, it's a good practice to click on Validate to check if your flow has any errors. The validation is successful, so we can go ahead and deploy our app to TIBCO Cloud. Once it's deployed, you can decide how many instances you want to scale. Now your app is running. You can go to the Endpoints tab and try and share your endpoints. You've now successfully built your first Flogo app. For more information, please refer to the Help Center for access to our product documentation, the Trial Toolkit, the TIBCO community, and support.